Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another adoption video and I know I don't do a lot of adoption videos and I'm coming out with a video about why. Um, it's nothing super deep, well maybe it's deep, but I wanna just share with you guys why. So that's coming out pretty soon. I wanted to drop this video before that just because it wouldn't like make a lot of sense. But if you guys have any suggestions, ideas, questions, leave them in the comments down below because I would love to know and it will give me some inspiration about what to film next. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed and turn on the little bell icon. Thank you guys so much for being here and clicking on my video. It means the absolute world to me. And I guess without further ado, let's just get on into the video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what it's like telling people you're adopted and the reactions you get. So this is what it's like telling people you are adopted. So typically, I tell people I'm adopted from the get-go because, I don't know, I just don't want them to be weirded out or just, I don't know, make assumptions because I am with two white women, you know what I'm saying? So I just like to be straightforward and it is kind of big in my life. Again, I'll touch on this in the other video, but it's not that big of a deal to me. It's just, it is what it is and it's my life, so. It's not anything crazy, but I like to be upfront with people, especially if they have an issue with gay people or adoption, which most people are okay with like adoption, but I don't know. If you're gonna hate me, like I want you to hate me from the get go. Like I want you to not like me from the start, not like, you know, develop some sort of friendship or something and then have the person be like, oh, I don't agree with that or whatever. So I'm just really straightforward. I always have been. So when I tell someone I'm adopted, they typically go like, oh, wow, like that's cool. Do you wanna meet your real parents? And it's so interesting because I always get this question and I always have to correct them. It's like birth parents, like come on people. Like, I don't know. I feel like all adoptees, that's again, kind of weird because I don't necessarily think of myself as adopted half the time. So again, fellow adoptees can relate to this, but like, do you want to meet or find your real parents is a big question. And it's just really annoying. And just don't ask that. If you want to ask that, just typically say, oh, would you like to meet your birth family or anything like that? Because you never know how someone might take that. Um, another thing too is they always seem to be really cool with adoption and they think it's really cool. And then they also ask like, do you remember anything from China? And I'm all like, no, not really because I was a baby. Now some people actually do. So that's a good question maybe to ask, but I, again, I wouldn't like ask that. Sorry if the lighting's changing. I film with natural light, so. That's just what we get today. The next thing that people ask adoptees is, do you know your medical history? And I've gotten a lot of comments about like, oh, you should find out your medical history, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I don't fully disagree with that. I think that's great. But also I'm at the point where, again, I don't really care to know that. I already have like higher level cholesterol and I think that's hereditary because like, I'm pretty healthy, I'll just blame the genetics. The next thing that people always ask really is, do you speak Chinese? And the answer to that is no. Um, I feel like you shouldn't be obligated just because you look a certain way to like speak a certain language. Um, so no, I don't, but some people might speak the native language from where they were born because their adoptive family um, signed them up for classes or felt the need to incorporate them more into the culture. But the thing is like, I'm American, like I'm going to embrace like more American culture sorry um but a lot of people have differing opinions on that which is totally fine um but i'm kind of glad that my parents didn't do that with me another question i always get asked and it's just really annoying when i tell people i'm adopted is 
Well, actually, I don't even need to tell them that I'm adopted because I always just get this question in general. And I don't think it's rude, but it's just annoying. And I'm gonna just flat out say that because like, to me, it's annoying. But they always go like, oh, where are you from? And then I go like, Columbus, Ohio. And they're like, no, like, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, well, I was adopted from China. And then I go on my spiel about like, I was adopted from China when I was one, I have two gay moms, you know, all of that. But like, come on, just accept the fact that I am really from Ohio and that like, that's kind of like where I associate being from. My hometown though is definitely like obviously celebration because I grew up there. Um, but like the where are you from question just like is crazy. Like you wouldn't go up to some random, like, I don't know, someone who looked Hispanic or someone who looked black someone who was a, just a plain white person and be like, oh, where are you from? And then they say like Minnesota and you're like, no, where are you really from? Like you wouldn't do that, but I feel like, I don't know, being a Asian person in America, like they're expecting some like exotic country like China, which I am from, but still like, no, not really, because I don't associate with that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's definitely a question. It's not even like I have to tell someone I'm adopted to get that question, but it's just like so wild to me. Another reaction I get when I tell people I'm adopted is, oh, I'm adopted too, which is like so cool because like I have already found a connection, a something, something in common with someone to develop a friendship, a level of, um, familiar, familiarity. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know, something you talk about and then we always, well, not always, but like from when I've met other adoptees, we always talk about like the things that I'm telling you, like pe what people ask or the reactions we get, which is kind of funny. A lot of people say, oh, I'm adopted too. So then it just like, already there's a connection there, which is super cool. Another question I always get when I tell people I'm adopted is, do you ever wanna go back to China, like to see it? And my response always is, well, if I could afford it, yeah, like that'd be kind of cool. Like, I mean, if you wanna front the bill, that would be great. Um, but uh, as of now, that's not my top priority of where I wanna go in the world if I got to travel and see places. But there's always a question like, do you wanna go back to China? That's something that's like always brought up as well when I tell people I'm adopted. Another question I always get when I tell people I'm adopted is, do you wanna to adopt too? And I'm like, no, not really. And the thing is like being on one side of it, like is great. Like obviously I'm so blessed in life and I'm so grateful, but like, no, I really want to bear my own children, which I don't know why, I guess because the, I think it's called like the white savior complex is all like, oh, well you were saved. So like, do you want to save, save another child? And whereas I will always donate to organizations like adoption agencies and everything like, but that shouldn't automatically make you or the adoptee feel like they need to adopt. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a big misconception in the world of adoption, in the world of like people just not knowing. Like, no, you do not have to feel obligated to adopt another child because like you shouldn't have to do that. Just like, you know, adopting an animal. Like, I mean, even though it's probably better to adopt children and animals like people still obviously bear their own children and obviously shop for a dog you know what i'm saying so i don't feel like anyone should feel obligated just because they're adopted to want to adopt um obviously i want to make a positive impact in you know this sounds horrible to say but like orphans lives or children waiting for um their adoptive families, you know what I'm saying? Or families in general. So um, I definitely think that you should give back in ways that you feel is right for yourself and your financial situation, your time, obviously. Um, but you shouldn't feel obligated at all to adopt a child. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
I don't know. I've been wanting to make a blog post about that just because I feel like I want to say more, but like, I don't know how to be interpreted by like the average viewer. Um, but yeah, like that's really where I come from and like my viewpoints of like, I think if you want to adopt and you're adopted, like that's so cool. Like you can relate on so many levels and I don't know, be there for that, for your child at that time you know, if they're going through something, but you should never feel like obligated just because you're adopted to adopt. That question always presents itself as well. Um, I don't know if I'd ever want to foster. That would be like a cool opportunity. And like, I would hope to make a positive impact in a child's life like that. But I don't know if I would actually be like the best like foster parent, especially when <laughs> the child you know, was reunited with their biological family and stuff. So I don't know, I'm still like thinking about that. I think that that would be a good opportunity and I feel like I would be a good influence on a kid that was in foster care, hopefully, I don't know. But that's a different question. Like I don't really get asked, like, do you wanna foster? The question more is, do you wanna adopt? And um, the answer would be no. Um, just because I want to have the experience of bearing my own children. Another response I get when I tell people I'm adopted is, oh, I know my cousin Sue is adopted. Oh, my dad was adopted or my mom was adopted. So there's also another connection built and some similarity um, when I meet someone because they know someone that's adopted. That's really cool. I always like when people say, oh, so-and-so that I know is adopted because it's like, cool. But then I don't really know what to say after that. So it's kind of awkward, <laughs> but yeah, they always say that they know someone that's adopted though. It's kind of funny. A lot of the times when I tell people I'm adopted, they are a little bit hesitant to ask questions, but I'm always the person that's like, yeah, ask the questions because I feel like I can inform in a nice way. So if they say something, then I will just correct them such as like real parents versus birth parents. So I just reiterate or restate that question and then end it with like, not end it, but start it with my biological parents. You know what I'm saying? Or the people that donated the egg and sperm. Um, you know, just like that. So I correct them, but I'm always willing to ask questions. And even though this video is kind of like funny in some sense to like, oh my gosh, it's so annoying when I get the same questions, like as an adoptee, I still want to be the one to give true information and like my experience. So I'm not hesitant or, um, I, it's not like I don't want questions, but like, it's just funny. And I just wanted to share all the reactions that I do get when I tell people I'm adopted. I also answered this question in another video. So check out my adoption playlist um, in my playlist section if you wanna see it. But I always get the question when I tell people I'm adopted and I have gay moms, they always say like, oh, were you bullied in school uh, for like any of that? And like, what was it like growing up? And I always say, Surprisingly, I have never really gotten bullied for having two moms. Like there was only a couple instances I can actually remember when um, like girls in my elementary school would be like, oh, that's kind of weird, but that was as bad as it got. So, and I didn't really care cause like I didn't really hang out with those people, really know them, but like whatever, they're off living their lives now. So I really don't care. And I didn't really care back then because again, I wasn't friends with them or hang out with them. They were just like kids in my class. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really care back then. But the surprising thing is when I um, tell people the answer to that question is always, it's more about my race. It's more about like being Asian, you know, like having you know, smaller eyes. It's not necessarily that I have two moms or that I was adopted. It was more like, not like people when I was like younger making fun of my eyes, but like I, I still joke around about my eyes today because I just think it's funny. And so did my friends in high school and like middle school, you know, like I don't care. I'm not that sensitive, but it was more so focused. Like my difference was that like I was Chinese rather than I was adopted or that I had two moms. So if that answers any of your 
questions, then um, that's definitely one that I always got was like, what's harder? And I did answer that in um, that video, but that's another question um, that I wanted to share in this video. So it was more so my race than how I grew up and where I came from. I think that's all the things I can really think of, like the questions that adoptees like always get. If there's anything else that I can remember that comes up when I tell people I'm adopted, I will leave them in the description box down below. But I wanted to just share because I did have this, this is my last like video idea about adoption in my notes section. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it for what it was. I hope I could start some conversations and you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.